Okay everyone, hello, this is Ira from Reddit Empire and Agent Paul, and it was asked to show a video of a boarding party run on normal uh, for cash. So, we're going to do that real quick. I'll try and talk and point anything out in the meantime as well that needs My to be Lord. pointed out. We have the, the time. Make sure to start normal, obviously. You do not need to have purples or anything for this to do this, as I recall. It is a fairly easy run. Most people ignore you when you have the level 3 speeder. Um, however, you do sometimes pick up aggro, and it is a... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know, it, it might be more difficult. I, I usually end the instance with about 50% health, um, so you may want to bring med packs if you're in lower gear. Apologize for the little frame rates and everything. Uh, this is a very weak gaming computer. Okay, this first room you have to clear because they will all aggro on you regardless. Should only take a couple minutes to clear though, which is nice. Once the first room is clear, all you need to worry about is um, getting to the first chest. So get on your speeder and do your best to not aggro. First chest is right here in the corner. And the next thing you'll get to will be a boss. And as long as you pretty much don't run over people, you should not aggro with the current uh, along your level 3 speeder, but it does happen occasionally. If it does happen, just keep going and avoid, uh, and just let them all catch up with you to your next stop. So much fun. Alright, I, I may be playing very sloppily. Ignore that, please.
Next is this room has two chests. <clears throat> One right over here. And then one straight ahead of us, uh, on the other side of the room. Reinforcements to deck 3, 7, and 12. We need more time to escape that tractor beam. Now these mini-bosses are skippable, however I do recommend, uh, killing them as you can uh, get three uh, terrace commendations for them and you can pick up purple items uh, from the commendation vendor to sell on the trade network. Like I said, these bosses are good, but unfortunately, the bonus bosses seem to be the most time-consuming bosses in the instance. Uh, down here is a rather large chest that usually has a, at least a blue in it. boss is quick. I am will not pass. I am Jedi and I will stop you. <laughs> Defeat me and a hundred more will come for you. You are formidable, but the force will guide me. There is also a chance to make affection uh, with your companions, depending on your choices in these cutscenes. Um, after you go through it a few times, you should be able to pick up which ones are the best. And then skip through them pretty quick. I find it easier to take the right side here. Um, I don't seem to aggro in here as often, so if I take this side as I, when I take the other side.
here's the second bonus boss that is also skippable but we will do it for the accommodations <laughs> Looks like we got a lucky drop here today. Just up here, top. We're taking you with us. And that is the end. <clears throat> Make sure to go up to the top and go through the cutscene at the top if you would like the affection with your companion. Um, last chest is here, and then I guess that's about it. Um, we'll go through and see how much we made, approximately. But... Secure. On it. What? 
And that is all there is to it. Most of the orange items you get are nearly always going to be bound from this instance, and um, the blues are only occasionally bound. Some of them are going to be BOP. All the greens will be B. I'm sorry, BOE. All the greens will be BOE, and if you feel like waiting, <clears throat> you can put them up on the trade market and have fun with it. However, more than likely, given the patch is dropping tomorrow, you're not going to want to wait. <laughs> And I apologize, I never have lived in a quiet house. All right. All right, I started with about 960, so I have 984 here. And after getting rid of everything, at a million five and minus repair it's a million three there it is <laughs> 